The SAW, or Smart Anti-Airfield Weapon, is an indigenously developed precision-guided glide bomb by India's DRDO. It's specifically tailored to strike critical ground assets like runways, radars, bunkers, hangars, and ammunition depots, all from a safe standoff distance. Now let's talk about some key specifications. The SAAW weighs around 125 kilograms and measures about 1.85 meters in length. Its effective range is somewhere between 90 and 100 kilometers, depending on the release conditions. The weapon utilizes glide flight, meaning there's no onboard propulsion, which makes it pretty cost effective compared to guided missiles. For guidance, it relies on inertial navigation, or INS, aided by multiple GNSS systems, such as GPS, Navisi, and Gagan. The SAAW can be launched by a variety of fighter platforms, including Jaguar, Mirage 2000, MiG-29, Su-30 MKI, Tijaz, Hawkeye, and possibly even the Cats Warrior. After successful development and testing, it entered the procurement phase in 2020, and production began thereafter. As of mid-2025, the Indian Air Force has forwarded a proposal to the Ministry of Defense for a satellite-guided variant of SAAW to enhance precision and guidance robustness. Why is DRDO upgrading SAAW with satellite navigation for mid-course guidance? Well, it's all about enhancing accuracy and reliability. While the current guidance system, which uses INS plus multi-GNSS, already delivers a circular error probable of less than 10 meters, integrating satellite navigation systems like Navi-C, India's own regional system, or GPS and Gagan will really bolster mid-course accuracy. This upgrade helps reduce drift and ensures consistent performance, even when facing jamming or spoofing threats. Relying on satellite navigation that isn't controlled by adversaries seriously enhances strategic autonomy. The adoption of Navi-C and SAAW would totally align with DRDO's broader push towards self-reliance in critical defense technologies. More accurate mid-course guidance brings a couple of key benefits. It allows for launching from greater standoff distances, which means keeping aircraft further away from enemy air defenses. Plus, it enables operation in GPS-challenged or denied environments. Satellite assistance really helps compensate when inertial systems alone would start to accumulate errors. In essence, the move to integrate satellite navigation into SAAW's mid-course guidance reflects a deliberate evolution, enhancing accuracy, resilience, and enabling future capabilities, from powered variants to multi-munition delivery systems. If you found the video insightful, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.